The disabled, the elderly, and children. They're the latest focus of a battle for hearts and voters in Clay County. Lindsay Shively breaks down the fight over this proposed county constitution. Alligator Day. Three year old Wilson has blossomed, getting therapy for autism at this special needs daycare. His mom, Lee, counts it crucial in their family's daily battle. Really wonderful group of people that um, have given me back my son. Now, his therapy here, partially funded by a developmental disability tax, is on a political battleground of interpretation. Clay County Commissioner Louie Ann Ridgway says if voters approve a new county constitution, okay. funding for services here okay. will face drastic cuts. And when you start mentioning words like total cumulative tax levy from all funds, there's little doubt that this is included in all funds. But campaign groups have been filling voter mailboxes with this same worry, saying that the taxes for disabled, mental health, even senior services are going to be cut under this new constitution because it limits the county taxes. Now, the people who wrote the constitution call this a scare tactic and absolutely false. It's the most heinous kind of lie when you victimize those people. Carol Souter helped so write the Constitution and brought her own tax bill to show that county taxes are entirely separate. Only the county funds will be affected, even showing an email from a senior services board member who isn't worried. Who knows what this Constitution means, those of us who wrote it. They may have intended that. But the fact of the matter is we have to deal with the language. Ridgeway argues services here would be cut because the county commission does set the levies. The state auditor agrees. <laughs> Quack. Families Quack. like Lee's just, just want people like that? Wilson out of the crossfire. What's that? What is that? Ridgeway says a trial is already scheduled to battle this constitution if voters do pass it on Tuesday. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.